Yo dudes, what's up? Hello, uh, I'm going to talk about um, British food. It's rubbish, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's not rubbish. A lot of people think it is, but well, you know, think is probably too generous a word. Uh, a lot of people have an impression from the school of everybody knows or my dad says or old wives tales that British food is terrible and they don't necessarily have direct experience so they don't know what they're talking about basically. So I'm talking about this because a few weeks ago an American dude left a comment on one of my Brit recipes to the effect that he believes British food to be rubbish but what made it worse was he then added the hashtag no offense. So I replied to this I said look it's kind of clear that you think that's an offensive remark because then you said no offense. I am offended because what you've said just isn't true and uh, and he came back he says oh no but it, it can't possibly be offensive because it's a known fact that British food is rubbish. <laughs> so I then kind of wanted to know where this fact is, this actual fact is written down. But it's not the first time I've had this said to my face, um, as if, you know, it's like you go up to somebody and say, bloody hell, you're ugly, and, uh, and you think that's okay. It's not. Okay, there might have been a grain of truth in what people are saying. Uh, historically, the Industrial Revolution, I think, was when things started to go wrong because you had this massive migration of people from the country to the cities and the cities just weren't able to, to cope with the food supply. Um, but that was a long time ago. I think we were more or less getting over it and then we had a couple of world wars. And the Second World War especially was, was devastating for British food because we weren't self-sufficient, we're still not. And the Germans were attacking supply ships that were trying to get food into the UK. Uh, so, you know, trying to starve us out, basically. Um, so that, that had a, a crippling effect um, and, and a long-lasting effect because rationing didn't actually finish until almost 10 years after the war ended. And, it, it, you know, it really took a long time for, for people to get back into the idea that food was something you could enjoy rather than just some kind of fuel that kept you alive. I can remember in the 70s, I mean, you know, my mother was a great cook, but with a limited range of stuff available. And if you went out, if you went to a pub, there was almost no such thing as food in pubs. There were bags of crisps. There might be a stale sandwich if you were lucky, uh, but nothing like the sort of gastro pubs that we have now. And, you know, Greasy Spoon Cafes does what it says on the tin, uh, and legendary British Rail sandwiches. Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> but we're over that. That was 50 years ago. We're over it, guys. So really, before you say things like that, think about, you know, what's your experience? What's, what evidence have you got for saying that British food is rubbish? And there's also the thing, uh, kind of chauvinistic thing, where every country, people in every country think their food is the best. And that's, I suppose, just natural. I lived in Spain for a few years and I wouldn't say Spanish gastronomy is the best in the world. Some of it is, most of it isn't. And you can say exactly the same thing about British, French, German, whatever. End of rant, have a nice day and make some British food.